<laughs> At Leap Renewables, we're so passionate about renewable tech that we even install it on our families' homes. So today we're here in beautiful Woking to meet founder Martin's daughter, Rachel, who has completely decarbonized to the extent that they've actually removed the gas main from their house. We're gonna find out exactly how that process has been for them and what life is like living in a fully electric property. So guys, you've obviously completely decarbonized and even come off the gas mains. Um, tell me, what's that been like and what was your motivation for doing this? Well, our motivation was that you know, gas was expensive. This was at the time when the gas prices really skyrocketed. And we thought that going, well, not completely off grid, but moving to more kind of eco technologies, that kind of pleases our eco side. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully there'd be some cost savings. We wanted to also bring in electric cars. So it kind of made sense to, you know, have solar panels, go completely off grid, have a heat pump, and it's been really great. And I mean, tell me about what living with a heat pump is like, because for people who haven't had it before, they might be concerned, is it going to be warm enough? Is it going to work in the winter months? Like, What's your day to day experience of living with a heat pump? I guess the experience is probably no different from having a gas boiler other than it is, it's just coming out of a different machine really and i guess it all goes into we've got one of those nest systems and that handles it all in terms of when it's running when it's not so in terms of what we actually feel and the experience in our house we don't notice a difference. yeah right. it's nice and warm yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and that's so that you know all our kind of hot water's done off it and it's all, as Alex was saying, just completely handled by itself and it, that's great. Did it take any adjustment? Because I think something that people can feel quite strange about is when their radiators aren't really hot. I think maybe I did notice that, well, yeah, the radiator isn't as blisteringly hot, but then I guess you don't need the air in your house to be blisteringly hot. It just needs to be hot enough. Yeah, and we've never, even when the temperatures drop below, you know, sometimes when it's got to like minus 10, okay, yes, the heat pump's on more, but your boiler would be on more. So mm. there's really no difference. The only thing's, you know, with a manual, you might, you know, have someone that, any kind of builder that might be able to, oh, okay, a gas engineer, get them in. But then that's where you get in a specialist company that if you've got a question, you can just ask them of, oh, what does this mean? Yeah. You know, what's that error code? And you mentioned, obviously, ideally you get some cost savings out of it. What has the impact of this been on energy bills for you? I mean, I noticed it when it immediately went in and there was a significant cost reduction. So that was the first level was doing the heat pump. Then we got the solar panels installed, I think about six months later. And at the same time, we'd also then got our first electric car. So it's kind of all hidden a little bit, but it's even though we're now solely on electric energy, I don't actually think that there's any difference, even the fact we're running two cars now. And one right. of them's a big four by four. Right. We're running that. Um, and I wouldn't say there's any difference to kind of wow. yeah. a normal bill. That's amazing. So you've essentially got the same energy costs, but you're powering two cars, one of them pretty big. So what would you say to anyone who's considering decarbonizing, going for heat pumps, solar, battery, EVs? Like, what's your experience been? And if someone was a bit skeptical, what would you say to them? There's no need to be skeptical. It works exactly the same, really, as having a boiler. You know, there is the kind of environmental impact, which is great. I think there's going to become a point where gas, I mean, you probably know this better than I do, but gas boilers are going to get phased out. You know, why not jump on that, that technology? It isn't scary mm. and it will save money. If you're thinking about heat pump, solar, battery, MVHR or air conditioning for your property then contact us at Elite Renewables. You can give us a ring on 020 8706 0056 or you can contact us through our website at eliterenewables.co.uk. We make the process really simple so we'll have an initial chat where we'll be able to give you a ballpark estimate for your project. We'll then send one of our technical team over to your property to visit you to understand the property in a bit more detail and to conduct a detailed survey so that we can give you an exact quote. Contact us by giving us a ring or dropping us an email through our website today.